It was a long and dangerous trip. Months aboard a cargo sailing ship, around the Horn, up the coast of South and North America, and finally through the mouth of the Columbia River and inland. It was the spring of 1856, and Henry Weinhardt, a young immigrant brewmaster from Wurttemberg, Germany, had finally arrived in the Oregon Territory. Equipped with little more than his brewmaster's papers and a handmade copper brew kettle, young Henry established his brewery outside the walls of Fort Vancouver. With thirsty soldiers, trappers, and loggers as enthusiastic customers, Henry built a steady following for his high-quality beer. In the early 1860s, gold was discovered in eastern Oregon. Portland became the base for these mining expeditions and soon erupted into a major boom town. Henry, following the tide, relocated his brewing operation across the Columbia River. After leasing property for a short time in what is now Portland's Old Town, Henry purchased a parcel of land in what was then known as the Stumptown area. It was there he built his new and expanded brewing operation at 13th and West Burnside, just one block west of the current brew house location. As the 1800s wore on, demand grew for Weinhardt's family of fine beers. In larger towns like Portland, it was customary for a brewery to own or lease local saloons, creating an easy and convenient distribution system. But in towns like Roseburg, John Day, and Walla Walla, Henry also managed to satisfy his customers by delivering beer with horse-drawn wagons and river barges. For a time, he even shipped his brew in large wooden tanks called hogsheads aboard clipper ships to San Francisco. By the end of the century, Weinhardt had become a leading citizen of Portland, revered for his dedication to the craft of brewing and for his civic involvement. Though known to be a private and diligent man, Henry did have a lighter side. During the gay 90s, when Portland's Skidmore Fountain was christened, Henry offered to run a beer line 14 blocks from the brewery to the fountain for a foamy dedication. Perhaps apprehensive of the potential traffic jam by horses that might overindulge in the fountain, the city fathers politely declined Henry's offer. In 1904, while drawing up plans for the current brew house, Henry Weinhardt passed away. He left behind many civic contributions and a wealth of friends. Most important for beer lovers, Henry left behind a heritage of quality and a tradition of fine brewing that would carry on to this day. Following Henry's death, the brewery continued to operate under the supervision of his sons-in-law, in 1914, when Prohibition was locally mandated, the brewery was forced to diversify. Soda pop replaced beer on the bottling lines, and ice manufacturing was added to the operation.